Okay, so there's two things I want to do today. The first is I want to deal with uh, exception code. Now, I don't really have much in the way of exceptions. What I want to do is disable exception code from a lot of this stuff because I don't use it and I don't intend to use it in the final product. Unfortunately, I do use it for the YAML related import export stuff since that library relies on exceptions and therefore the exception handling. So certain libraries such as for YAML and that will still have to keep exceptions on, but for the most part, I want to turn them off. Now, to first of all, I want to like find out if I want to see like the, because I want to be able to do two things. First of all, exceptions are extremely slow. They're not supported on all platforms reliably. And for the most part, well, there like there are exceptions to do with like allocation failures, but and uh, other things like that. But if the program is running into those issues, like I, I have no real intention of handling them anyways. If there's an if there's allocation failures and I'm out of memory, then there's really not much I can do. So what I'm going to do first of all is I want to see like what savings am I going to get because I'm more interested in at this stage wondering what savings in final binaries will I get, right? Cash lines and what have you for the instructions and all that stuff. So first of all, I'm going to run, find out what the size of everything is, and then I'm going to save it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And then what we're going to do is next we'll turn it exceptions off basically everything so the by default okay so we got that so we're going to do find in here dot uh, so files args n1 List uh, sh. Okay, yeah. So grab all this. Put that there. Uh, don't actually save it. So, first of all, disabling, add compile options. If Unix. I'm sure there's another option for Windows I'm going to, have to find out. Miss VC, no exceptions. Okay, what's the option? Is it EHSC? Okay. So EHSE, okay.
So I'd need to put EHA for uh, items. Okay. So I need to go through and find ECS libs when I have a YAML thing. I need to add so link library, so target compile options. Private, uh, it uses, because the idea is that like uh, all the YAML stuff will be cat or uh, caught inside of this and it'll never, really, like exceptions will never escape here or the ones that deal with YAML stuff. So if Unix, Private uh, dash F exceptions. What's the opposite? Okay, so def dash f exceptions, and then target compile options. YAML DHA. Okay, we got that. We needed to do the test. Target libraries. Graphics does have one. Let's compile include directories. Compile options. that we need a test Okay, I'm gonna try to rework this a little bit. Nope. Probably gonna move them to be after the include and link libraries. Should it be like link libraries first, then include and all that stuff? Or no link libraries should be last, or one of the last things, because that's gonna bring in other directories. Yeah, link library should always be last because that's going to add extra options. I want to specify options first here. Hmm. Okay, down here I was going to be here. So that includes compile options. Then we bring in those ones. Oh. Okay, no, include should be first, put those headers at the top, 
then we include the headers and compile options of these things. Then we add our switches after that. That makes a lot more sense because it's the last version of a switch that will take effect. So we want to overwrite whatever we're inheriting from elsewhere. Okay, uh, let's just see. I'm gonna have problems like this. No exceptions. I'm sorry. Oh, definitions. Whoops. Come on. Oh, we missed one. Where what did we miss? YAML, full YAML test. Ah, yes, of course. So we got libraries we include. We've got total code coverage we'll put afterwards. I want to bring that over. another one the engine right because the engine has some of these things directly oof This will go into the PML importer. This is going to catch it, right? This is the final catch. Let me just make sure I'm not completely utterly crazy. So what's going to happen is it's going to catch. Try catch, right? Um, please tell me. Okay. Okay, I created an importer. We try and catch. Yeah, we catch. Okay, good, 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 good. We're capturing everything. So this is the final line of catching everything. Um, okay. Oh, and then this. This is... Oh, no. This is, this is exceptions. No. God, no. Is there no except version? Please.
okay. Uh, and then this, I'm going to have to go through and make modifications to. So we got that. We're going to have target compile options. Rib. I uh, not quite. We need two. See this I, again. This is something I should have introduced earlier. And now I'm paying for it by having to go back and fix up. more things anyways so we built everything let's uh, rerun oh, that let's see what the difference is it won't be big but it will be there uh, where did I okay yeah close whoop Put a new thing here. Um, what, I can't select what I have open or something? Okay. Uh, select for compare. Compare with previous selection. So what we have, we lost 200 kilobytes off the catch. So it's not really a big thing. Eight kilobytes off of that, four kilobytes, 28. So that's like four, eight, four, 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 eight. So like 10%, right? Removing exceptions saves us about 10% on final. Well, not that one really. Oh, but that's also a lot of hmm, 20, eight. 14. Well, there's basically nothing on WSI. Interesting. But the but the thing is that I can clean out... I get a bit of savings for, like, exception handling code, which I'm not even going, going to use for the most part. It'll just terminate strangely. Which isn't great, but you know, I'd rather have that than real slow exception handling than not even handling. I need to do some modifications for exception code though for this. So I want to save this. Not quite. Actually, that is a lot. Of, where's the engine lib? 820 kilobytes. How much? Like, realistically, it's settings and the import registrar. And perhaps export? Probably.
Okay, we're gonna add. So we got the AFO engine I'm GUI one. Just that. So I wanna do this just for that. So actually for the moment I'm gonna do it on both. If I can do a comparison. This is a static, which will be linked in to it. Now target that exception handling code. We're going to target link libraries. We're going to be bringing in just the YAML stuff. CLI eleven as well doesn't need to be here. So that that not these two. it in this will be declared in a moment the ECS of exception handled is there anything else code coverage yeah Or is it after? I don't know. That may be after. Actually, I don't even include that, do I? But we should. No sources given the target. Yeah, you're right. I need to go into here. Nope, that's the wrong one. I wanted to remove it from here. See if we got rid of all the exception handling code. I just want to minimize where it is. And then I'll slowly work to eliminate it moving forward. Relocation, bad value. We compile with FPIC, really. Okay. Okay, we got that. 
do this with an exception code. We'll get the size of it all. Actually, well, first of all, we'll make sure it runs. Yeah, great. First of all, okay, it, it makes sense. It's 820 kilobytes. It's being ported in there. So, actually, so that does actually make perfect sense. Uh, whoops. And then we disable exceptions inside of there. kilobytes yeah a little bit but it works don't save okay handling isolation I just want to put these up and I want to make sure that MSPC is not going to complain about it so I'll do that while I make modifications here yeah you know, it'll run in CI in the background while I make modifications to no one do it Okay, here, other compile options, we turn them off. We did this. We'll put this after that. Let's put spaces and stuff to make it a bit more readable. Just a general, slight, small cleanup. executable in the test put them together can I actually do the opposite you add the test then the executable does that work yeah okay a bit more explicit as to what's going on across the board if I can. So we'll do, we'll do something like that. So space that
Actually, no, that was the right place. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bit much. Definition. There we go. We got these. Okay. Okay, let's see what the CI has come up with for uh, the Windows. MSVC, tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm pretty sure I probably screwed up the Clang side. Um, oh, I'm just getting a whole bunch of failures. Okay, I'm getting failures on Oh jeez, too much. In the application, I'm including YAML CPP, which is then pulling in this which is saying exception handling. Okay, why does application have that? Why am I include? Okay, do I bring it in? How do I bring it in? Application CPP line 23 is including YAML ID, which is including YAML CPP. Okay, I don't need that anymore, do I? Okay, first of all, I need to change over to uh, build shared libs equals off because this is happening on static libraries so rebuild come on Okay, so that builds fine now. It was just the one, I guess. That was just including for, is there anything else I can maybe knock out of here? 
Okay, well, and what did the actually the MSPC job look like? Uh, they actually passed without issue, both shared and static, and Clang D, or Clang CL, sorry. Uh, Mac OS was fine as well with it. Okay. Put that up, see what's happening. And then I'm going to undo. And then we're just going to add just the stuff for exception handling that. Basically the entirety of this, yes. Next, add that. which is interested in this part. And then next I'll go through with the kind of the prettification of uh, CBake files. Then we'll move on to the next interesting part. the way nope that's too many nope just a bit Exceptions have been turned off. Okay. 
time being. Okay. Put that up. Now we're going to prettify <clears throat> these. So here, just make lists. That, that, that. Put compile options down here. Okay. Libraries, we got that. Okay. 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 All the compile definitions to be added after. Code coverage at the end. slightly off. Okay, next. Got that. Spacing, spacing. We already got this one. Okay, next.
declaration. Spacing. So that's Vulcans being brought in from this. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to actually bring it in here. nothing in here. There's going to be a stub library for something. I may still go through with it later. Okay. Basically be no difference. So this is just a whole bunch of Split thread pool definition directories. Mm -hmm. Spacing.
I'm gonna change this. Okay, no. Um, Prettified. Between, oh, the root one. What we got going on here? So close the others. What's going on here? We've got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. We add the library. So we got that one. We got this one got this one that up here uh, da, 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 da. Okay, what's going on Okay, no, no, just leave this because this is special. You don't want all this stuff on it. If you do that, target code covers that. We all... Oh, 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 oh. That's something wrong, strong, isn't it? Uh, I need to include for target code coverage. Objects. Because it'll be... Get one that's down here. Auto all. Something like this, right? Nope. Nope. Come on. There we go. Objects that I need to include the object I'm actually trying to stuff. So objects. Throw engine lib. Okay, that's great. Uh, auto all. What does auto do? I need to find the... That's exception stuff. Okay, auto adds target to CCOV target so that it runs batch with others. So that's, that's a batching, same thing with all. Not really interested in those ones. Hmm. If the provider targets a shared library, uh, libraries adds coverage information to the output. So yeah, I want to include that. sure how to add that stuff not even going to try to if you want accurate stuff just build it static do I even do that for yes. 
analysis, static code coverage. Okay, uh, build tests. So we build it static. So we get everything together, anyways. I don't even have code coverage on right now. So I should do that before I make this. See if it even works. Realistically, I want to add all of these. Bad file. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I need to add an argument to this, don't I? So here. And I gotta figure out why it's running it twice. That's something I gotta figure out in a miscellaneous job. But going over here, uh, get that engine build CCLV engine index. Put it in here, and we got a big, uh, big file of a whole bunch of things which code coverage is 33.91 percent which is terrible all of open xr isn't covered because i didn't run it that makes sense and a lot of this stuff is just really poor just a lot of really poor stuff and then we get things like this which is yeah okay See how that comes back from CI in a moment. Okay. Uh, I got it most. Unfortunately, I had to reset uh, the regular engine lib to be all together, although I've split up the. Um... Actually, I didn't split anything up, did I? Yeah. Oh, no. Whoops. Wrong branch. Here we go. I split the libs down there and the same thing on the code because, unfortunately, application CPP, while Clang doesn't really care, GCC does care the fact that I'm importing this into the main application 
which of course this is including YAML, which is including exception code, which is including garbage. Just So I didn't really have much choice other than to just completely put everything back together because if application CPP requires exception handling, that basically pulls in everything that way anyways. But I have at least split up like the libraries that require, oops, ah, whatever. The uh, files that required it are down here now. So I just need to kind of work on cleaning these out. Now, if I can figure out a way around this, I should be fine. Now, how does this work? Uh, since I've forgotten, this is an exporter. I can export state, I can export f simulation state, that's fine and all, but how does this work? Export, export state. Okay. So this is checking the directory and stuff. Then we go into the exporting dependencies. Go into here. Not exactly sure what this is about except yeah okay okay so this is some base level stuff here index data index data exporting resources okay So how does this work? If I get the resource ID, I do that, I go into here. Export resource, which takes me to further in. I have a vector of resource functions, which, where did I get this from? Sim state resource pools. Well, M resource functions, where I get this from. I register resource function. Do I even call this? I have to call this somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm calling this a lot of times where I bring it in locally. These are all in sub libraries, right? Okay, I've completely forgotten how I did this. I need to kickstart my brain, remember how I did this. I have this where I register the exporter. I go in and I find... Okay, and then it's, okay, it's registering things through here. That's fine. Okay, okay, I can probably, I can save a part of this. I could probably undo this. Application can remain up there. Okay, reset these. Just reset everything. Bam. Uh, get to pull. So what we got? Want to undo this one? Undo these. 
So I want to do this. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to just create a small file. Export YAML HPT, export YAML.cpp. I'm going to take this, I'm going to stuff it in a small little file like that. So I don't actually have to import this into the main application. And then I should be able to, so I need to, since it's GCC that had the problem. static as well. Doesn't matter, really matter if it's static or not. Just build everything. Okay, we got that. We're going to have go down to here. It was here we had the problem. Then we want to do this. This, this is, that's just it. That's all we're doing. We're going to have P simulations set. That's that's it. That's all we're bringing in. That's right. I don't even actually need this. Register basic functionality. Come on. RS. There we go. We, then we got export registrar, export YAML. We're going to instead import this. There we go. Now I can. Oh. Um. In function or just a basic functionality, undefined reference to this. Okay, I need to link that down here, I guess. IMAX or simulation. Simulation. R S.
No. Registrar, okay. So I need to bring in registrar as well. Okay. Okay, I can still save the, the, the split. Okay, Let's see how that goes. Looks like it finally works as I had hoped. Exceptions removed from most stuff, right? I didn't forget. Exceptions on that, and this will have, still have no exceptions. Good. Good. All right, put this in. Mm -hmm. Success. Put that for the end of this session. Yeah. Cheers.